Hey, welcome back. Yesterday I felt like filming a new video, and since you guys seem to like butterflies, I thought this would be a cute idea. I hope you enjoy it. Just pick one or two colors for your butterfly, one for the ring, and maybe something darker for the body. Also some nylon cord, and of course, how much cord you're gonna need can vary. Let's pick up our first three beads. Add one more, but this time you also pass the other side of the cord through it, like this. Pull this section to the center of your cord, so both ends have the same length. Then we continue by adding one bead on each side. And cross both ends through third bead. One bead on each side, and another one. Now we pick up the darker beads we chose for the body, and add one on each side. Then we go back to our ring color, and pass both ends through another bead. Like before. Now make your ring as long as it needs to be, so it fits around your finger. For the last section of this row, choose one side of your cord, add one bead, and pass your cord through the very first bead on the top. Add one more. And now it should look like this. Continue by adding two beads on one side. And pass both ends through another one. From now on, we have to pass one side of the cord through one bead from the previous row. So now we only have to add two more beads. Simply repeat for the rest of the ring. But don't forget to add one more of your darker beads once you're there. To finish the ring, add one last bead, 
and pass your code to these three. Now I make two knots. And seal them with nail polish because I lost my glue somehow. Trim off the excess cord and turn your ring around. The wings are made the same way. Just follow along with me and the graphics on the side. Make sure your beads are in the center. Here we add two beads to the right cord. And again. And here we have to pass the left cord through the bead on the bottom. When you make the knot for the second wing, make sure it's on the correct side, so both knots are on the back. Now we can put all pieces together. Just take another short piece of cord, 10 cm should be enough, and start by passing it through the first dark bead on the bottom of your ring. Now we can add the wings. Pull your cord only through the first bead on the bottom. Repeat on the other side. Now we have to cross both ends through the next dark bead, so the one in the middle. Next, for these two beads of the wings. And for the last time, we cross both ends of our cord to the last dark bead on the top. And before I make my knots, I pull my cord through these two white beads from the ring.
So now we can hide the knot in this gap. And we're done! I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. See you next time!